Hey everybody, it's Angie. Welcome back. If you've never watched my videos before, you feel free to subscribe. Today I'm starting a new piece. It's a little three drawer dresser, a little short one. Could be a nightstand or just wherever. It's really cute. I've already cleaned it and I've already scuff sanded it and I've already put a little coat of sealer paint on it. So we're ready to roll just to save time. And what I'm using on the base coat is by Artist Loft. It's metallic purple. This way when I resin the top of it, I'll give it a little shine. I'm just going to pour that on the top. Okay, I'm going to hit it with the torch before we spread it out and get some of these bubbles out. There we go. I'm going to spread it out with a spatula. Beautiful color. Isn't that pretty? When I get it almost spread out, we're just going to tilt it like you would a painting. Get it to go over the edges. I have it covered where it won't be all over it. Okay. fun begins. I'm going to start out with black. Morris black with the text basics. Let's see how I want to do this. I'm going to start here. And then I'm going to do this little corner. Just like that. It seems a little thick. I hope it's going to be okay. Okay. I'm going to go with a little bit of light purple. I'm putting a generous amount. Of course, we have to have Doc Cycling Purple, a liquid text. And last but not least, this is Silver by Deco Art. I'm just going to put a little bit of this because I don't want it to take over. Uh oh. Okay. Let's blow this out. Fingers crossed. Must not be level.
doing printing. I'm not going to do much to this. It looks like gold. Okay, I'm going to bring you down for a close-up. Okay, guys, this is going to be a pretty cool piece. It's still doing what it does. I like that part right there. The little sails. It's got a lot of lacing. And it's kind of on the dark side. I didn't try to put a bunch of bright colors in this one. It's pretty. And I don't have a clue where this gold came from. It don't have any gold in it. Silver. I guess the silver mixed with something and created a gold. Isn't that crazy? It's really pretty. And I played in it a little bit. Give it some curly cues. Broke up the the square lines some. Like right there. It's real delicate through here. And real bold toward the ends. I think the resin's going to love it. So I'm going to let it let it dry. Here's the overall. If I can get it all in here. I'm going to let it dry, and then we're going to resin it. So I'll see y'all in a little bit. Okay, we're back. And I have two coats of resin now on the top of our little chest of drawers. Oh man, it's absolutely beautiful. Look at this. Sorry for the glare, that's the resin. I really brought it out. Focus camera. There you go. It's really pretty. We're going to put a top coat. I use Stone Coat's top coat for resin. It's going to take away this glass like shine, which I still have a shine, it's just different. Almost hate to, but I know wherever this ends up, it's going to have something sitting on top of it. It's going to get scratched up, dinged up, and I don't want that. So we're going to make it durable. I'm going to get you set up, and then we'll put the top coat on. Okay, we've got our stuff mixed 50-50. 
Now I've got a little tray over here to pour it on. Couldn't find my big tray. I'm going to use a little one. It didn't work. Get your brush really saturated in it. I poured it all out. You got your brush full. I go right down the center with it. And just put it all over it. Don't worry about your lines right now. Just get it coated. When you get it on there, you don't want to overwork it. Get your dry brush and go back over it. Take all the excess off. good in 24 hours the top will be done it looks really good so we'll come back out here tomorrow we'll get ready to paint the bottom of it See you tomorrow. Okay, guys, I'm back. The top coat's on. It's dry. It really looks pretty. See that shine? So I'm going to take the plastic off or out from around it. I'm going to set it up on the table. And we're going to see what we can do with painting the rest of it. So I'm going to get you set up. Okay, we're outside and we're going to paint the body. It's pretty noisy out here, so I'll put on some music. Okay, guys, we're back. Look at that color. This is Amethyst by Dixie Belle. It's beautiful. And what I did, now we can fix it up a little bit. What I did is I mixed some white chalk paint with it, and I made a lighter color. And I want this in the area where the hardware is going to be. So, I'm new to this. But we're going to see what we can do. I'm going to spritz her down a little bit. Okay, we're back, and I'm adding the dark purple around these drawers. So I'm going to put Zena down for a nap. 
she's on a real strong antibiotic, so she'll probably sleep for a little bit. That's her heart. I tell you, dogs can cost you as much as children when it comes to doctors. Okay. Okay, I'm back and I've done the sides. Isn't that cool? I'm gonna let this dry. Because we're gonna put a coat of wax on it. Here's the other side. I put light in the middle and I outlined it in the dark. I'm, I'm, we're getting close. Let's see what this bad boy looks like when it's done. And I'm going to do one more coat of this up on top because I found a dog hair in it. I'm going to have to start blowing off before I come in here. She's a husky and Great Pyrenees, so white hairs everywhere. And anyway, we'll get right back on this when it dries. Okay, I played with it a little bit. And that's basically where I wanted it. So now, I'm going to add some more of this dark purple. Around the whole thing. On the edges. To kind of bring it together. Okay, we're back. We've got her painted. Now we're going to add some wax. The best dang wax from Dixie Belle. Okay guys, she's finished. Turned out really pretty. To be a first try at blending chalk paint. I don't think it's too bad. Sorry for all the clutter in the video at the end. I had to shrink a couple hours down. The top turned out really pretty. But I like it. The silver that you saw me putting on right here is is put out by Prima. It's a wax and it's called Old Silver. I don't know if you can see that. That's good stuff. Okay, on the sides I added a stencil and I put in some black paper, contact paper. The stencil's really cool. This was something new I tried too. It's also put out by Prima Redesign. It's a sticking style. It's on a roll. You pull it out, it's sticky. And you just stick it on there and take your stencil brush and dab your paint on. And then you pull it off. And I use the same one three times before I cut a new piece. And you just pull it out as long as you need it. You know, they have different designs. Really good idea for the sides of the drawers. And anywho, tell me what you think in the comments below. I like it. I like purple. The shade's off a little bit from the top. Ah, purple's purple, right? Well, y'all have a great day. Thanks for joining me. And I will see you next video, part two of the fairy table. I'm waiting on paint. It's a coming. See you later, gators.